us. Welcome to week nine, okay? Last week we did a bit of a sports style warm up, okay? So we're gonna be doing the same again, okay? We've got a couple of different sports, okay? To start, start running on the spot. My name is Paul, okay? You might have seen the videos last week, okay? Um, if you haven't checked them out, go back and check them out. Some really cool stuff, really cool content on there. And the previous week we had Amy, Fran, Vicky, loads of cool stuff, okay? So go back and check them out. For now, we're running. Those arms going. Okay, we've got six sports we're gonna go across. We've got two different ice skating drills. We've got snowboarding, surfing, which we had in last week. Okay, that's back in. I know how much you enjoyed it. Okay, got a bit kayaking, canoeing. Okay, and, and that's what we got so for now. Running. In five seconds, you're gonna copy me. Our first ice skate one, we ice skate to the side. To the other side. Side. Copy me, let's go. One leg goes out wide. Go on back, imagine you're ice skating really fast, across the water, or the ice I guess, across, good, keep it going. After this we're going to go into snowboarding, okay, so we do two snowboards one side, half turn jump, and two snowboards the other side, okay, keep going for now, in five seconds, you're going to copy me for the snowboarding, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, one, two, switch, good, imagine you've got a snowboard on your feet, Little half turns as we go, a little squat and turn and double squat and turn. Keep it going, you should feel this one burning in your legs. But after this, we're going to get in the canoe, in the kayak. We're going to be canoeing down the river. Keep it going, a couple more turns. Three, two, and have a sit down. Grab your canoe, can you canoe side to side? To make it harder, take your feet off the floor. Keep canoeing. Good. You want to make it super hard. Can you get your legs straight? I'm going to do it with bent legs. You want to make it really hard. The leg to be straight, a bit like a V sit position. If it's getting a bit too difficult, put those feet on the floor. Keep canoeing. I've currently got my legs bent, but feet off the floor. After this is surfing. We're going to be on our tummy, doing a quick swim. Swim, swim, swim. Catch the wave. Up and four waves. Ready? Lay on your tummy. And four swims. One. Two, three, and up. So, stay low, stay low, and back down. Swim, 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 and up. So, 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 back down. Swim, 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 and up. So, 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 back down. Swim, 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 and so, 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 so. Now we've got a second ice skating drill. Copy me. Feet in, out. In, out. Can you get lower? Imagine you're going through a tunnel. Now the opposite hand goes down. Left hand, right foot. Can you get faster? And faster. And faster. Keep it going. Keep ice getting through the tunnel. Stay low. Stay low. And jog it. One round down. One to go. And then I'll stretch. Get those arms moving. Get those legs moving. Keep it going. Now we're after this, it's our ice skating, our first ice skating one. When we jump from side to side, landing on the one leg. Five more seconds, keep jogging. Keep those feet moving. Get ready for your ice skating in three, two, and one. Let's go. And hop to the side. Hop to the side. Keep going, keep moving. Those legs going side to side, we push, push, keep moving those legs, keep pushing up. After this is our snowboarding, two snowboards one way, half turn, then two snowboards the other way. Get ready, get set, let's go. So, no, snowboard, 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 keep it going, turn, little squat, turn, little bounce, squat, turn, little bounce, squat, turn, keep it going. Keep those legs moving. Keep that body moving. Keep pushing. After this, we'll be getting in the kayak. Go put your wetsuit on. Get the, get the hammers up the ready. A couple more. Finish down the bottom of the slope. About to get into the kayak and get down. Let's go. Again, make it harder. Bring those feet off. Keep moving the body. Keep pushing hard. Keep going. If you want to make it harder, Legs straight, straight, 
Keep it going. Keep pushing. Keep it pushing. Five seconds. Four, then we're surfing. Three, two, let's go. Now your tummy swim time. Definitely warm it out now. Swim, swim, swim. Four surfs. One, two, stay low. Three, four. Back down. Swim. Arms and legs going. Arms and legs going. And surf. Low. Get that wave. Stay on the wave. Stay on the wave. Stay on the wave. Keep going. Now we swim again. We've got to catch the next wave. Keep going. Keep pushing. Let's go. Surf. 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 One more to go. Let's go. Swim. Swim. Catch the wave. Catch the wave. Let's go. Surf. 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 Final one. I'm ice skating. Copy me and Grandshaw. Step in side to side. His arms moving. Keep it going. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. Keep pushing. Five, four, three, two, and relax. You should be nice and warmed up now. And we're going to take it in to our stretch. Well Gymnasts, it's time for our stretch. Okay. I want you to do as stretch as you possibly can, pushing your hand or body as far as we can safely in those positions, okay? So we're gonna try really, really hard during our stretch. Join your feet together, hand apart, hands on your shoulders, head, and stretch right up to the sky. Circle your arms backwards, keeping your arms as straight as you possibly can. Big circles, big circles, big circles. Stretch, and go the other way. Circle, circle, circle. Very good. Hands on your hips. Join your feet together, hand apart. Look one way. Other way, one way, other way. Go up, down. You can make little hip circle, little uh, head circles, side to side. Join feet together and apart, together, apart. Lean your hips one side, other side, one side, and the other side. Now keeping your legs apart, circle your hips around, nice big circles, and go the other way. Very good. Excellent. Hands on shoulders, head stretch. Again, turn those hands out. Boys, hands out. Girls, hands out and thumbs out as well. Good, now keeping our legs as straight as we possibly can. Both hands down to one foot. Can you get your fingertips, your hands, either side of that one foot? I can get my fingertips to the floor. Keeping your legs straight, can you maybe get your hands towards the floor? Go on, reach a bit further, stretch. Reach, reach, and up. Over the other side, and then hands down to the floor. Can you get your fingertips down, or even your hands down, keeping the legs really straight. And up, hands down to the middle, hands as flat as you possibly can. Legs nice and straight, hands flat. Jump the feet together, and reach right up to the sky. And reach down, can you get your fingertips down towards your feet? Legs should be together now. And shake your legs off. I reckon you guys can stretch a bit further than me. Maybe even try and turn your hands around and get them to point towards the heels. Stretch up, reach down and around. Can you get your fingertips to the floor? Hands pointing towards your heels. And jump legs apart. Do one straddle stretch, reaching down. If it's too easy with your hands to the floor, pop your hands on your elbows and push your elbows right down. And shake legs off. And sit down on the straddle sit. Can you show me your best? Shovel sits, legs out wide, chest up tall, squash your knees in towards the floor. Really go squashing now. And reach one foot, reach as far as you can, and up, over the other leg. You can reach those hands super far, and up, and reach your hands forward, stretch as you can. Try and get your tummy towards the floor. Okay, reach really, really far. I'm sure you're a bit better than me with this one. And legs together. Plank sit, arms up to the sky, squash your knees down, arms up and stretch, and reach forwards, hands either side of the legs, and reach as far as you can. Reach further, further, check legs off. Try that one more time. Reach really far, stretch your hands, and check legs off. Good, one foot over the other, and let your foot circle around, and switch legs over. 
I hope if you are back to school, you're enjoying being back at school. If you are at home and doing lots of your work from home, I hope you're getting on with all of that, okay? And then using your spare time, or maybe the PE time, to join us for the lessons, okay? Bring those feet together. Now remember, there's lots of other content, okay, on our YouTube page, so do check it out. It's really, really fun, okay? And we have done seven previous weeks, or we've made eight previous weeks now. So there's lots of cool stuff for you guys to watch from home, okay? Right then, seal stretch. And then you can always go back and watch another week. Okay, or do another week again, because it's really good to practice it again and again. Look up towards the sky. And hips up, hands forwards and shoulders down. And sit on your heels, and make waves with the wrists. And shake your hands out, and make waves the other way. And shake, 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 shake. And bring one leg forwards. Shoulders up nice and tall. And front leg straight, point the foot, reach with the hands. Reach, reach, reach. And can you try and slide down into splits on that leg? See how far you can go down. Can you get a lot further than me? Try and keep your hips down towards the floor. Point the front foot, arms out wide. And switch the legs over. Opposite leg forwards. Again, shoulders up nice and tall, push your hips down towards the floor. And now push your front leg straight, back leg bent, and reach with the hands, reach really far. And try and slide down the splits on that leg. This leg is a bit better for me, but still not as good as it should be. I think you guys can be much better. Point that front foot. And now box this. Legs nice and wide, lunge over to one side. That leg that's bent, can you keep that heel on the floor? And how close can you lunge those hips towards the floor? And over the other side. And now have a go at going down to box splits. Go as far as you can down. Right down to box, as far as you can. We'll hold it once we're all there. Five, four, three, two, and jump your legs together. Shake your hands up, shake your shoulders up, shake your legs out, and our warm up is done. Well done, gymnasts. We are going to be working on vaulting for our session. So we're going to quickly go for our landings, different shapes, tuck jump, star jumps, made some shuttle jumps with perfect landings. Okay, and then we're going to some squat-ons, straddle-ons, and straddle-over preps as well. Okay, for now, show me your landing position. Copy me. One, two, three, four, five. And again, bend those knees, feet together. Two, three, four, five. Good. We may not want our feet completely together, okay, but just a little gap. We definitely don't want them really wide apart. Okay, so I've got a little gap in between my feet. Copy, one, two, three, four, five. Let's do it with the jump this time. Jump and land, jump. One, two, three, four, five. And again, jump. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do it with the star jump this time. Ready, star jump. Land, one, two, three, four, five. And again, star jump. One, two, three, four, five. One more time with the star jump. Are your feet landing almost together? Two, three, four, five. Do one star jump without copying me. Ready, big star jump. And land, one, two, three, four, five. Right, instead of the star jump this time, let's do a tuck jump. Okay, let's go. Tuck jump. Hold. Two, three, four, five. And again, let's go. One, two, three, four. Let's see if you can tuck jump up a little bit higher this time. Ready, jump. One, two, three, four, five. One more without copying me, so I'll just talk. You guys are gonna tuck jump and land. Get ready, jump, tuck jump, and land. One, two, three, four, and five. Right then, next up, we're gonna do a front support, jump to crouch, watch me. I'm in front support, jump my feet in, and my hands finish in front of me. Watch one more time, and you're gonna have a go at five with a little pause between each go. Watch one more. My shoulders above my hands, jump my feet in, Okay, 
give you about 30 seconds, a little bit more, to do up to five, okay? If you do any more, that's great. Okay, so it should be front supporting. Start going when you're ready, jump your feet in. Keep practicing, keep listening to my voice, okay? Keep practicing. Okay, so when you're in your front support, when you finish, hands should be in line with your shoulders, not down towards the floor. And we have to be looking at our fingertips when we finish, okay? Keep practicing. Okay, have one more go then, gymnast. One more go, so front support. Jump your feet in to crouch. Are you finishing with your hands? In line with your shoulders looking at your feet. Now I'm going to say a bit of a challenge, okay? Can you bring your hands off the floor just before your feet touch, okay? I'm going to have two goes, okay? Watch. This go is a little bit slow. Okay? Needs to be a bit faster. Watch me. And I'm finishing with my hands in front of my, my hands in front of my shoulders my hands come off just before my feet touch. Watch one more time. Okay, so now with less like a squat on and more like a through bolt, okay, which I know lots of you enjoy doing on the bolt, okay. Have a few goes, please, gymnasts. Have a few goes. Let's start this go. So front support, jump the feet in, hands off. So your hands should leave the floor just before your feet go to touch. Okay, let's try again. Just like that. Okay, have a few more goes. Front support, jump those feet in. Are your hands coming off just before your feet touch? Have one more go. One more go, and then we're going to change it and make it a little bit harder. Okay? Good, well done. Now then, if you've got a dressing gown in your house or just something you could mark the floor with, I'm lucky I'm at the gym and I have the white line. Okay, maybe it could be on the carpet, could be a certain spot. Okay? Um, but I've got a line, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put my fingertips or my hands on the line and I'm going to see if I can land my feet in front of the line, so the other side of the line. Watch me. My hands are on the line and then I jump my feet and I finish with my feet up in front of the line. Watch one more time. Hands on the line, jump in and my feet and my hands or my, my hands are on the line, my feet finish in front of the line. Have a go at yourself, okay? So find a spot somewhere, a safe practice, and so you can put anything on the floor if you like, or if it works for the carpet, check for mum and dad, okay, or your grown ups at home, okay? Have a few practices, so I put my hands here and I, my feet finish in front of my fingertips where they were. Even more like a through bolt, okay? Quite a challenging one, that one. Have a few practices. Remember, your hands need to be in one place and your feet need to finish in front of your hands, okay? Have a few more tries. Front support, jumping the feet in. Are you practicing as well? And my feet are finishing in front of my hands. Have two more goes, okay? Really try and power your legs in towards your hands and the hands leave the floor just before your feet come into land. One more try at least, one more go. And I'm gonna switch it up for a strand over this time. Good, right then. This time, instead of a squat on, okay, legs together to finish almost in a tuck stand, we're gonna finish in a straddle stand. We'll do it nice and slow to start. Everyone watch me. Legs here to straddle, hands come up. Try again. Hands up. Okay, have a few goes. So front support, jump the legs to straddle, hand come up. Two more goes, front support, jump the legs to straddle, hands come up. One more go, front support, jump to straddle. Now then, just like the squat on earlier, I want to see if you can get your hand to leave the floor as your feet are about to land in the, in the straddle position, okay? So watch me, front support, as my legs jump in, my hands come out and they're in front of my shoulders like I'm reaching for sweets or candy or something like that. Have another go. Just out like that, nice. One more try. Front support, jump legs to shuttle. 
Good. Now then, I'd like you to have three extra goes, okay? So if you add down to that front support position, jump your legs to channel and bring your arms up. Now sometimes we might fall over, we might fall backwards as well. Try again, so front support. Jump your legs to the straddle just as your feet are about to touch the floor. The hands should come off. Okay, let's have one more go together. So front support. Jump to straddle and hands off. Okay, now then we've got one final thing to do. And just like the squat on earlier, where we had to finish with our feet in front of where our hands or our fingertips were, we're gonna do the same but with the straddle position. Okay, so watch me. My hands on the line. Watch where my feet finish. Okay, option one is finishing with the legs apart. If you're really fast, the legs can go around the shuttle, maybe you can finish together. I'm not sure if I can do this one and give it a try. That one's really tricky. Okay, have a go at either one. Maybe start with the shuttle one. And hands up. Do you see how my feet are almost on or in front of the line? Okay, and a few practices. So you've got to be really powerful like a rocket, okay? How we jump through. Have two more goes. Two more goes then. If you want to try the harder one, you can try that as well. It's really tricky. Well, I'm not sure if I can do that one. Maybe you guys can get your grown ups to record you having a go at this and send them over to us on email, on Instagram, or on Facebook and we can put you on our social medias. How cool would that be? We'd love to see you practicing your through bolts and your straddle overs. Hey gymnasts, now for the conditioning part of our session. Okay, we're going to be doing a bit like we've done in previous weeks. Okay, we're going to be doing 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 and 2 exercises. Okay, and then we're going to go through and pick some new ones. Okay, our first one, okay, we have tuck sit ups and squat jumps. Okay, tuck sit up looks like this. Up and down, up and down. Okay, and then a squat jump, fingertips to the floor and touch the sky. Okay, we're gonna do 10, 10, 8, 8, 6, 6, 4, 4, 2, 2. See how we go. Okay, right then, tuck sit ups. This one is perfect for our somersaults, double somersaults, okay, so really, really important. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Don't let your feet touch the floor. Six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, 10, stand up. Squat jumps, let's go, touch the floor. Jump, one, two, Three, touch the sky. Four, five, halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine. One more, 10. Right then, back down. Eight tucks to top, so less than last time. Ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, halfway. Five, six, seven, eight. Squat jumps, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, touch the sky. Six, two more, jump higher. Seven, eight. Have a bit of a rest there. Okay, now we've done 10, we've done eight. Six, tuck sit ups. Let's go, ready. And one, two, three, four, five, six. We've done six tuck sit ups. Let's do six squat stretch ups. Let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six. It's getting easier. Just four now. Just four. Right, let's go. One, two, three, four. Four squat stretch jumps. One, two, touch the floor. Three, four. Just two and two to go. Then we can take a break before our next two exercises. Let's go. One. Two, and two squat stretch jumps. One, two. Right then, take a break there. So, our next two exercises, we've got dish rocks. I'll show you what they are now. 
and then power jumps, okay? Actually, let's do tuck jumps, let's make it even more gymnastic, okay? So, right, dish rocks about this. Hands above your legs or behind your head, you can decide, okay? We can rock like this or with our arms behind the head. I like it behind the head as long as my shoulders are off the floor and I'm looking at my feet, okay? And then it'll be tuck jumps as the other one. Now then, so 10 dish rocks, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, halfway, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, ten. Right, tuck jumps, let's go. Push up your tiptoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back to dish rocks. We're ready. One, two, three, four, halfway, five, six, seven, one more, eight. Tuck jumps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back down, six disrupts. It's getting easier. We can do it, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six tuck jumps, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We've done ten. We've done eight. We've done six. We now just got four and then two. And then it's our final round of exercises. So four, let's go. Are you ready for your dish rocks? And one, two, leg straight. Four, four tuck jumps. One, two, three, four. Two and two. Okay, two and two. Go. One, two, let's go. One, two. Right there. We've done one round. We've done a second round. It's now our final round. The first one is going to be our plank push ups. Plank to front support and back down. Watch me. Got my plank. Okay, so we go from the plank up to front support and back down. You can do it with your knees down. If you're feeling really strong and you want to push yourself really hard, Okay, then you can do up to front supports, okay? The other one, once you're in the front support, we jump in and take the hands off. Step back or jump. In and hands off. It's just like a through vault or a con, okay? Or a double con or a double through vault. Okay, it's a really cool and important practice. Right, let's get going. I'm working hard, I'm starting to sweat. I hope you're doing the same. Into that plank, the lower front support position. Get ready, and go up. Down, up, down. Keep going. Halfway. Two more. One more, and jump in. One, front support. Two, we're just gonna do five of these. Three, two more. Four, one more. So we're going to do 10 of those five jump ins, meaning we've got eight plank front supports and four front support jump to crap. Ready? Eight this time. It's getting easier. Let's go. Push up to front supports. Back down. 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 Halfway. Three more. Remember the knees can be down if you like. And then take them off, you want to work harder, even harder. Now, front support, jump to crouch. Ready, let's go. One, two, stay low. Three, one more. Four. We've done the 10 five, we've done the eight four. We've now got the six three. Give those arms a bit of a shake. Give your legs a bit of a shake. These are our final couple of exercises, and the session will be over. Okay? Let's go plank position and push up. Down, up, down, up. Halfway, three to go. Really push up. Use all the muscles. Use everything in your body. One more. Now jump in. One, two more. Front support. Jump in. And rock it off. One more. That was the six and three. We've got the four and two, and then the two, then one. And then we're all over. We've worked hard, we've come this far. Let's go even more. Get ready. Plank position. 
four, one, down, two, down, halfway, two more, three, one more, jump in, back out, one more, jump in, and relax there. So then, we have done the four and two, we just have the two and one. Let's use everything we've got left. Perfect technique, squeeze the muscles in your tummy. Okay, work really hard. Two plank front support press ups, let's go. Up, down, up. And now, jump the feet in, ready, go. And relax there. Now then, gymnast, that does take us to the end of that session there. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the content that we've done throughout. We've got many more weeks to go until the gym is back open again. So we cannot wait to see your faces back at Oldfield, Broadlands, English Coombe, St. Mark's, wherever we see you, we cannot wait to have you back again, okay? But for now, that does take us to the end of this week. Do check out any previous content from other weeks. We love seeing your smile, we love seeing your videos. Get them sent in and we can put them on our social media. For you doing the conditioning, the exercises, any of the stuff, why not go back and do this video again tomorrow morning? But for now, it's a goodbye. See you later, see you gymnasts.